Hey everybody, you're listening to the Cologne Podcast. I'm Mike. I'm Ryan. And welcome back to episode number 19. Wow. Yeah. That's a big number for Dude, us. Dude, we're climbing up that beautiful mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Where the beer flows like wine. That's right. <laughs> Guess where that mountain's located? Aspen. Aspen. <laughs> That's what we're covering today. Aspen by Cody. That's right. Yeah, if you remember back in the 80s. <laughs> All right. I can guarantee you that James Ward was born in the 80s. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've got a review by him from Fragrantica. Lovely website. Yeah. James <laughs> Ward says about Aspen. Yeah. Manly, check. Fresh, check. Longevity, hmm. (laughs) Well, I didn't need it to be. It worked for exactly why I had it. A quick blind reach for a freshie to run errands that'd be gone when I needed to rock the beast mode frags for an evening out on the town. (laughs) Great scent. (laughs) Thanks, James Ward. (laughs) Then he reaches for his bod man. That's right. <laughs> He's like, enough of this freshie. I'm going for a bod man. <laughs> what, what grown adult <laughs> is like rocking Aspen for his daily errands? <laughs> He's like, he's drenching his ass. I I love that he's got multiple to choose from, but he still chooses Aspen. (laughs) Yeah, like he can't get a daily driver for under 40 or something. (laughs) No joke. Have you ever heard of Cool Water, dude? Uh, Well, (laughs) God bless. That's hilarious. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, hey, let us know what you thought of the Fragrance Philosophies episode. Yes. If you have any requests or suggestions for different topics for that, again, that's not like our typical episodic sort of review that we're doing like we're doing for Aspen here. Yeah. If you've got any ideas, shoot it over to thecologuepodcast at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. We would. And with that being said... Ooh. It's time to go into our one night stand review. One night stand review. Yeah. One night stand review. Hello, and thank you for calling Todd. We are unable to take your call at the moment, but please leave a message together with your name and number. Thank you again for calling Todd. Todd, it's Mike. Dude, I'm listening to episode 19. You completely cut out the one night stand review. It, it's not a big deal to me, but you know Ryan loves that Elysium, man. This is important to him. Like he's selling blood and semen right now to save money to get it. Look, I'm not trying to get in your business, but maybe you need to put the weed down, man, while you're editing at least, for Christ's sake. Um, if you can't get that audio back, then I, I don't know what you're going to do, but Come on, man. That's an important segment. We need that in there. See what you can do. Thanks, Todd. Man, that was seriously a seriously intriguing scent. All right. So now that's our one night stand review. Yeah. So now let's move on to the scent of the day. Aspen. Aspen by Cody. You want to do the honors of spraying it? I want you to. Okay. It's funny. The bottle's mostly pretty nice. It's just the atomizer top is the only cheap looking thing yeah, about it. It looks about as cheap as that CK1 atomizer that went on top. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to... Man, that sprayer sprays. I keep... Why do I always try to give you the damn... I don't know. 19 episodes in, Ryan, you're still doing it. Wow. You know what? This scent's pretty good. <laughs> I was here. I hope I don't smell like one of those pine trees you hang up in the middle of your <laughs> exactly. car. Exactly. I smell like James Ward up here. <laughs> That re- that's not a bad smell. This is honestly what I assumed CK1 was going to smell like. This is what I thought Bodman was going to smell like. I, Bodman is definitely not on this level. This is actually really good. This is it a- was getting a lot of hype in the review section. Oh, on Fragrantica yeah. and stuff? Yeah. I was like, these people <laughs> need to graduate middle school already. What's this price tag for a four ounce? 12 bucks for four ounces. That's actually not bad, especially if you're in a pickle and you just need to like grab something and you could trust it. I don't know if you can get this in stores still, but I'd imagine so because you can still get brute. So surely this has got to be right. Like this. I would assume. I mean, I'm not seeing it at our local grocer or anything, yeah. but what, you know what? Right. If I'm about to run some errands, but I need it to die. <laughs> <laughs> 
this will be the one you throw on this yeah, your daily yeah. driver before I need to reach and rock those <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, Jimmy, you're <laughs> killing me, dog. James definitely going through a midlife crisis Dude. wherever he's at. Hey, cause... J-Dog. <laughs> you need to put that 80s Mercedes back, <laughs> back in storage, man. You need to get rid of that hair system and chill. <laughs> uh, what's ironic about this, and you pointed out before we jumped on here, is that it trends pretty damn hard Dude. on Fragrantica. Damn, it's blowing my mind. Guys, so Fragrantica, we always kind of say this from time to time, but Fragrantica has a stock ticker type thing that shows you the ups and downs of how popular something is. Right. And this thing has been <laughs> hella popular Dude. since 2013 to now. I'm talking like it's in the red the entire time. <laughs> yeah. The rev limiter is about to burst on this thing. Well, man. I knew like yeah. people still hype this shit. Yeah. It blows my mind. I mean, it smells okay. It's Here, not terrible. Here's the funny thing. I think this and Bodman that we smell do smell similar, but where I feel like Bodman just starts almost like a headache inducing in a, yeah. in a sense, I think it was more, I don't know. It felt cheap. This honestly doesn't feel that cheap. And I don't know, maybe it's the atomizer. It just sprayed better. And it seems like it's like a legitimate cologne. You got Bodman. You got Aspen. You got CK1. Yeah. You got Kurt. Yeah. All these guys live in the same house. Oh, yeah. But Aspen's writing the paychecks, dog. You think so? No, I don't. I think it'd be Curve. I think Curve. Curve. Yeah. yeah. Curve would. Curve still feels like the more legitimate of the fragrances. Yeah. Like, even this already is drying down to something I'm not too keen on, but... Yeah. It goes weird kind of quick. I can't explain it, but it does. We looked at the notes, and it's another Bible, you know, yeah. page situation. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're reading CK1 all over again. I can't get over that one. Dude, I don't know what they were doing in the <laughs> 80s and early 90s, but man, they were just like, fuck it, throw it all in there, you know? Well, I mean, to be fair, some of the niche stuff we've been looking at recently, even with like Roger Dove, it's like there is a lot there, but I guess they've figured out how to balance it better. All yeah. this, it's like every type of like green flowery type thing. It's like all there and it's all up front and it doesn't go away. Yeah. Put this on lightly. This shit is heavy. Yeah. I sprayed one spray on my arm and it's stout. Yeah. I, it's like giving me a headache for real. <laughs> He's it quitting really the podcast is. today, guys. Dude, I'm about to file workman's comp, dog. I'm about to live on this couch for a couple of weeks. So one thing we like to do before we start recording, we like to research a little bit. And sometimes we do it a few days before if we're really good at our job. Yeah. But, uh, Which is never. Yeah. But we were looking at this and we're like, okay, so this guy, I can't remember his full name, but obviously the last name, Cody, he passes away in the 30s or some odd. Yeah, 1930s. And I think it was born in 1904. So really died kind of young. Young. Right. But then his ex-wife. Mm. Yeah. Then his ex-wife in the 60s sold this brand to none other than Pfizer. Everybody knew that. Pfizer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is so weird to think that a pharmaceutical company bought a cologne company at the time. And then they marketed all of it in like drugstores and stuff. Yeah. Especially back in those days, that makes sense because yeah. a drugstore was your typical convenience store. I see. I didn't even think of it that way. But yeah, they really were. I yeah. Mean, you had pretty much a Sears Robux that you ordered out of a catalog and you went to your drugstore. That was about it. Yeah. I mean, we had one in Gilmer for a long time. Yeah, Remember that? That was like the place you'd go. They sold guitars and wash tubs and <laughs> a lot of kinds of stuff in there. But yeah, so they, they rocked that selling it out of drugstores and then some retailers all the way up into the 90s and then Pfizer sold it. Man, why wouldn't you? Because think of all the alcohol you use to create these fragrances. That's a good point. They would probably have a lot of good access to it. Yeah. It's almost like something's going on there. <laughs> I don't hate it. It's still one of those things like there's no way in hell I'm going to put this on me. But what guy or gal... Do you envision putting Aspen on besides James Ward? Okay, I'm trying to psych profile James Ward real quick. <laughs> I'm thinking single, 45, <laughs> drives like a Firebird or something, but not like a cool year. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. one that's like, you know. Oh, yeah. You can still say, hey, I got a Firebird. And then when they look outside, it's not like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm thinking one of those type of guys. <laughs> I'm thinking rocking a cul-de-sac on the forehead. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> And he's like, man, before I get to rocking the decent frags, I'm going to slide on some Aspen when I'm waving at the cute girls while I'm running my errands here today. (laughs) Man, I couldn't put a picture profile to anybody wearing this, but it's not a diss at it. It's just so green. And I'm not a fan of green like fragrances. I mean, instantly when I thought Aspen, I thought of like all the like Yahoo rednecks we went to school (laughs) with. You know what I mean? Before like 10th grade, Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like 6th to 9th grade, rocking Aspen. Yeah. I don't even know why, but I think I was jealous of them having Aspen. This was definitely before there's like Axe body sprays and stuff back in our day. Yeah. I'm not sure what we had, but I know this would be like a scent in the locker room after like football practice or something. Then, like, somebody sprayed this on before they went to the next class. Oh, yeah, man. And maybe that's why this is a good thing for some people. You know, it would definitely cover up any type of... A B. multitude o. of sins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, that shit is strong. Let me tell you. Oh, well, let's get into it. Ryan, are you going to go to Amazon right now and cop up $12 to buy this piece of shit? <laughs> Okay, this is the most I've ever seen Mike really go after something, so he must not be a fan. I've done spoiled him with some Raja Dove stuff. Now now he's fucking done. Either that or delirium is set in for you for the day. Dude. But uh, hell no, I'm not I'm not wasting time or money on this, man. Guys, don't buy this. Please, <laughs> for the love of God. I have no idea why this is trending unless people are just buying it out of morbid curiosity like us. <laughs> yeah. We're saying all this, but it's not a bad scent. It's not bad, but God, you could get curve and it's like... Legit. It's like three or four levels above this. Oh, yeah. And, and like, according to Frey Grantica, <laughs> it's a fun dropper <laughs> this one you're just gonna drop James Wartz <laughs> right <laughs> oh god oh god we gotta finish this <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll wrap it up Mike Stone lost his goddamn mind over Dude, our I'm losing this shit <laughs> Who would have thought Aspen would have done this thing <laughs> by Cody? All right. So. <laughs> All right. So that's a resounding. We're skipping it. <laughs> we go ahead and tease something. We give you a million reasons why you yeah. <laughs> but should listen to the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> One Dude, of them being it's not going to be Aspen. <laughs> we're going Lady Gaga on this bitch. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, again, <laughs> thank you so much for yeah. listening to our podcast. If you made it all the way through this, you did better than I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Uh, James Ward, man, he threw me in, <laughs> threw me into s- some loops, dude. Oh, man. Well, until next time, thank you so much. If thank you. Wanna, you. If you want to write us or... <laughs> If you want to write my prescription, <laughs> yeah. send it to do, I, do we have any psychiatrists <laughs> listening? <laughs> write it to the Cologne Podcast. I'm breaking down, man. At gmail.com. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for listening. Yeah. Have a good one. <laughs> Peace.